back to another M Creator lore video. So today, what we're going to be doing is adding the grass finally to the bi or to the biome. We're going to be using the vanilla grass texture for um, kind of like a palette, so we can basically get the same hues and stuff like that. And then what we'll do is we'll basically work on a couple different textures for the actual plant life and then what we can do is we can import that into m crater so i wanted like three different kinds of styles of grass to begin with and then we would have something more to work with in m crater itself so that's basically what i did uh, for the first part the next step that we needed to do was basically import the textures and then set up the plant element for the actual grass so this is what i basically did i just created a plant element and then i set the properties for this uh for the the type of grass i need to do this for all three different types of grass so i just basically went over the settings and i think that's basically the default uh the default rendering system should be fine and other properties probably just want to update the name a little bit and get a few other additional things uh set up uh, we'll probably add seeds and stuff later on uh that probably won't be a huge thing we might even go a different route than adding seeds i'm not sure yet uh there was always adding wild plants as a optional thing as well so we might be able to do that but i wanted to make sure that um, all the properties were set up proper and I wanted to make sure that it was only being able to be placed on uh, the grass block and dirt blocks so those were the two conditions I added there and then for the generation and stuff I just wanted to make sure that the frequency was set up although I did alter this a lot when I was actually testing later on uh, just to get the right amount of grass per the biome we might need to add different types of grass uh later on or do it through structures but i'm not sure just yet so uh, it's just something that we'll have to kind of play around with until we get it just right but um at the moment that's basically what i worked on and then i needed to do this for all the other textures so i made one plant per um or one one plant per texture so we could basically add this all into m creator itself and i just adjusted the generation properties just a slight so we could basically get it working testing a game and first load i noticed that something wasn't actually ticking properly so most likely this had to do with the foliage color so i knew that i had to change this um there's a few things that we'll have to probably tweak with the foliage color and stuff like that but we'll fix that right now so i had to go back into the plants and set the foliage color for each one of these plants so i wanted to play around with the foliage i just set it to foliage and then we could use that uh color map for basically setting it so i set all three values for this value or for foliage and then i adjusted the frequency a little bit more just to kind of get it a little bit right it takes me a couple minutes to or like a few times attempts to actually get the properties all configured but it does eventually get um, to a point where we can actually use it um, but yeah so that was basically it so there was just one last thing that i needed to do and basically disable the uh, grass vanilla grass so we could basically just make sure the density was right testing a game i uh, needed to kill a witch again and basically go to the dimension this will probably be our only time that we need to wait for the dimension as we can test the changes in the dimension without regenerating the world but i needed to wait for the um, timeout thing and once that was completed we'll be teleported right over and looking at the generation i noticed that the, the hue was a little bit too close to the actual like the foliage color was too close to the um vanilla foliage so i wanted to basically adjust this a little bit uh play around with the hues a little bit so it would be more vanilla like so the next thing that we need to do is actually get the grass color and then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and get 
or paste that into paint.net and then what we can do is we can kind of play around with half of the image to get uh, an idea of how the shading will be for the other foliage. So basically what I'm doing is I'm going to half this in part so we can kind of get an idea of how dark we might need it. I'm going to start with kind of like this shade and then we'll see if that will work and test it later. So in game there is a slight difference with the overall grass color like the tall grass but um, it's still not what I want it's not prominent enough. So what I wanted to do was basically go back into the editor and just kind of play around with the hue a little bit more and the shade so we could get it a little bit more uh, defined so it would be a little bit more darker. Uh, right now it's uh, pretty much the same color. It's a little bit different but not by much. So back in paint.net I did basically the same thing. I just wanted to get the uh, color a little bit darker and uh, by the, doing the same method of shifting it on the uh, hue saturation and the value I was able to get a more darker color that we could basically use. So in game, I was just basically uh, finished setting up the foliage color and everything like that. So it was basically a little bit darker. I'm pretty happy with the actual texture and how the plants are generating with the actual grass itself. So we'll probably be ending up creating another biome and having one for a flower biome, the other one for a grassland biome, uh, very similar to just having the plants and stuff. And then we can maybe make a third one later on. But um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with the results for it being just the right shade uh, for the foliage. So the next step that we needed to do was basically duplicate the biome that we have here for the flowers. And then what we're going to do is we're gonna basically make this our flower biome. And we're going to end up um, just updating some of the properties for the flowers and stuff to generate in this biome instead. So we need to do that for all the different flowers. And then what we can do is we can set the generation properties for that particular biome a little bit towards the end. So once we have the biome properties a little bit different where it's a different range from what the biome is, it should generate. Um, on its own scale and stuff like that. We'll probably not be changing the biome temperature and the biome, um, the other biome setting. I can't remember offhand what it is, but the uh, we want it to kind of generate near the same temperature and uh, environment. So we will adjust the uh, train settings for the train map. Uh, so going over to the generation or setting, we're basically going over to the actual dimension. We just added it to the dimension so we could basically generate it. And then I just played around with the settings themselves for the temperature and the other setting in here. But uh, I want to just make sure that the values were a little bit different. Uh, from each other so it would generate and giving that the biome is going to be completely new. All right, so now we're in game. I did find a little flower uh, biome for the island there and I wanted to just kind of fly around and see if I can't find a actual dimension for where all the like mainland where the biomes actually meet because that one doesn't really show the biomes meeting. So I need to kind of find one. Once I found one, uh, basically I was going in the mainland. I needed to find the mainland first, but I did manage to find a flower biome eventually using the, just basically following around and stuff like that. And a lot of this, it, the, the primary biome is mostly the, um, the regular planes that I've noticed. So we might need to adjust a little bit, but there is some where there is flowers. So, it does generate um, on its own and usually at higher altitudes, which is interesting. But other than that, uh, basically the flower biome is its own little unique biome atmosphere and stuff like that. And then we have a kind of like a grassland, which is more plain 
and I'm pretty happy with how the actual dimension is starting to take shape and stuff like that. So we'll probably be working on a third and final planes variant um, next episode, which will be kind of a surprise for you guys. So I do have something in mind though. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.